so this is one dude that I work with, and he's he stinks, and I just found, <laughs> I just found out he stunk today. Oh, because cool. I don't work much at this spot, but when I Yo. work there, uh, he he stink real bad, <laughs> and uh, I didn't know it till today, and then I I told Dan I said, hey hey old boy old boy is funky, and Dan was like, yo yeah yeah yeah, so I, you know. It's like he like it's a known thing. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's a known uh-huh. thing, right? So uh huh. Because every time, because I didn't get that before. I've even been in the break room with him, and he not be funky. Like this, this was pungent, singes the nostril hairs. <laughs> oh my god! But <sighs> he, it was, it was, it was tart and. And so, I guess, what's, what is my point of telling the story about this? <laughs> so, today, I go to use the restroom. Uh-huh. And he's in the restroom, and it smells horrible in the restroom, right? Oh, my God. And it smells horrible in the restroom, and he, um, he's like, uh, you know, washing his hands. And then I use, the, you know, the urinal, so I go to wash my hands. You know, I do a long wash my hands. You know what I'm saying? I, I sing. That's ha- good. That's very good. Sing happy birthday twice. <laughs> and you know what I mean? <laughs> then you dry your hands, right? And, uh, but he was still in there, like, hanging out. Like, like uh, what the OGs would tell me, a locker room hustler, right? Oh, in, my God. In there. <laughs> And he's in there, and it okay. stinks so bad in there. And I didn't know that there was somebody in the stall. And he mm. was like, he was like, yeah, yeah, you see, person in the stall. Ooh. I'm like, uh, why are you in here? In my head, like he's not in charge of cleaning any bathrooms or anything. No, no, no. But he's in the bathroom hanging out. So he was in there for an extended period of time. And that if was somebody, way too and long. if somebody was in there taking a disgusting, nasty dump that made it stink in there, why were you so comfortable in these dwellings? I, I just wondered, did, does, does he smell so bad that he no longer senses bad aromas? His well, what do you was, think? His, his nostril senses are just singed to where he just smells nothing. His scent offended thee. <laughs> well, I, I was just thinking, like, you know, when if you live in. Oh man, how far do I want to take this? Just go, just go, do what you got to do, man. I, you know, my thing is just, I, 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 I just want to um, inc- tell people like, hey, if <laughs> if take care of your hygiene, okay? Because even if you don't smell it, somebody else, we we smell it. Hey, just you know, people are talking. Can I can I just say something really quick? Sure. Um, when you have, uh, let's say you have like a, a little something on your, on your face above your brow or something like that, or a, a booger hanging out your nose or something like that. Don't you want people to tell you? Yeah. Cause I think it's more but, offensive when you don't tell them. Right. But, 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 so I, I'm kind of putting this, this is kind of on you. You actually didn't tell this person that this dude didn't have, oh, oh. You know, odor. He had old deer. He has some old deer. Hey, and but <laughs> you know, but I now feel like this is kind of your fault. Now I it's mean, all now it's all starting to make sense. I think that everywhere. I don't know. I didn't talk to the people there at work. Okay, but I have a feeling that everywhere he was going, people were saying, "Man, what is that smell?" <laughs> Maybe that's why he was right. hiding in the bathroom. Oh. You know, now now it's all as I'm talking about it. I don't mean to talk about my day on the show, but now as I'm talking about it, it's starting to make sense because you know I did see him leave. Also, leave. He's sitting outside. You know, a lot. Yeah. So, um, yeah, maybe he's trying to air out. But <laughs> wasn't no airing out that out. Maybe he was just waiting for a ride or something. I don't know. That takes a that would with, with that that smelled like you needed a shower and a new pair of clothes. That's why. That's why I, I, I I'm hesitant to tell people that they smell that bad, because if I, when you tell somebody that it, they all because they're already aware of it, and um, are they though? I think so. Okay. And um, 
they immediately have to go take a shower or they have to wash up. They have to leave. Okay. Well, I've, um, now that I think about it, I actually, uh, I have seen you in action tell people this, but in a, in a very subtle way, uh, not directly, but indirectly enough to get the point across. Um, I once saw, uh, you say (laughs) in front of a crowd of people where said person, not this person, but another person that smelled very bad. You said, my God, it is. Smells like Parliament Funkadelic. Because <laughs> well, it was funky. The scent was funky. Oh. And, and you're talking about the female. You tell me this was a female. <laughs> this was a female. Yes. You know what? Yeah, I, you I, know I, who I, I'm I, talking about? But I didn't Dude. I did not know it was her. Yeah. Oh. I did not know oh, it was that's, her. Oh, that's right. That's that was, right. That's that right. was the thing. And she was honestly. Honestly, to tell you the truth, she was the last person I suspected it to be. Okay. And when I found out it was her, okay. I, I was like, oh, oh, <laughs> oh, heavens, heavens me, <laughs> <laughs> heavens to Betsy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I do. Um, it's kind of, it's kind of hard to approach people like that, you know, like, Cause we, you know, <laughs> when y'all told me it was her, I said, "Oh, <laughs> oh, Lord!" <laughs> but you were you were making a ruckus, Parliament Funkadelic oh, to the re- max. I was and real. I, I didn't say to the. I never say to the max with anything. I I embellished that story. Yeah, yeah. I I would never say that anything. But like did that. you did you not like say that. Parliament Funkadelic? I did say Parliament Funkadelic. I said <laughs> I said old bus seats. I said a lot of stuff. <laughs> It was bad. It wasn't, it was, <laughs> you know, but it wasn't as bad as this dude. If it, if it was as bad as it, it this dude, <laughs> if he was in our surroundings, uh-huh. I would have been a hundred times more um, cartoonish than I was that day. Oh my God. Animated, I think they call it. Goodness gracious. Um, I knew about it. I like, you know, I didn't, I'm trying to, you know, you know, what's bad though, is that we're wearing masks. And it's oh, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like good masks too. Uh, yeah, we have some secure masks. Um, Tom Secure. Yeah. <laughs> but man, this old dear came through and uh, uh, very nice person though. That's I think that's what makes it hard. Ern is throwing his hands up in the air. Did the Raiders score? What happened? The Raiders just scored. Do we clinch it? And Do we make it? And the Raiders are in the playoffs. Raiders in the playoffs. <laughs> Oakland, baby. Oakland Raiders. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, uh, what Las happened? Las Vegas. I said Oakland. I think I did too. You did. That's uh, well, Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas! Viva Las Vegas! Viva! <laughs> well, you know, everybody's made that mistake. That's you know. <laughs> you, at least you know where our hearts are. You know what I mean? Anyway, know the, Raider, the Raiders are in the playoffs. And the Chargers are not. And the Chargers are not. I like. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oh, this is a great start. It's, it is. I mean, you know, <laughs> and the, so the moral of the story is go Raiders and wash your behind. <laughs> you know, Red Fox has a record called uh wash your ass yeah he does he really does that's an actual album it's very important it's It's very important it's very important you got to think of everything that happens with that thing yeah you know yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it needs a good scrubbing yeah and now i'm not talking about an oil change or nothing like that i'm just talking a good old scrubbing you gotta wash it for the others well you're gonna be naked under them sheets with the woman you don't want no, uh, you know, uh, crumbs and nothing like that coming. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> coming out of the bed, you know. That was so visual. You gotta make was, sure you, you gotta Jesus. make sure you 100 clean. You know? Yeah, man. Yeah. That, you know, wash your clothes. You gotta wash your clothes. I understand how it, it's hard out there for some folks, right? But if them clothes got a pungent odor, you cannot wear them. Cause it's hard out there for me. 
I mean, don't, don't play like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> don't play like I'm that. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm serious this about mine. This is a funny subject. Uh, what? But a serious what? subject. Wa- washing yourself? Personal <laughs> hygiene. <laughs> Personal hygiene, man. It's very important. It's very important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a podcast. This is what people on podcasts talk about. (laughs) People on podcasts talk about things like personal hygiene. Do you wash your ass? (laughs) Do you? How long long are your showers? And when you're in the shower, do you spend all that time washing up? (laughs) Do you actually pay attention when you shower? Or do you just go through the motions? Because uh, you you got you gotta wash, you gotta wash. You can't just be like, oh, I'm just gonna put some water on myself. No, you actually have to clean yourself, or else uh, other people will get the repercussions. You gotta get a good scrubbing. When was the last time you got a scrubber and scrubbed your back? <laughs> I don't even remember the last time I got a good scrubber and scrubbed my back. I don't have a loofah. I, I think I need to get one. I have uh, just the, you know, uh, the loofah with no handle. I have the uh, the net kind of thing. I know what you, you're talking about. Yeah, I have that kind of thing. Yeah, the things are kind of gross. <laughs> Is it? I don't know. I think the particles and shit get stuck in the nets. But if you think about it, every time you use it, you clean it. <laughs> hey, when in Rome. When in Rome. <laughs> when in Rome. <laughs> Oh man, this man just said sh- particles. I uh, that's hilarious to me. <laughs> I mean, it's gross. <laughs> personal hygiene, uh, uh, personal hygiene talk. I mean, I feel like that's. I, I was talking with a coworker today. I rarely go to work, <laughs> but today I was talking with a coworker, and I was talking about this particular topic. Okay. And he says to me, <laughs> says this to me. <laughs> uh, you, don't wa- you don't wash every day. You're not supposed to wash every day. I said, he was talking about his hair, right? No, he's talking about himself. I said, we're talking about showers. My man said he don't, he don't take a shower every, every day. He said, he said, maybe, you know, four or five times, four or five times a week. I'm going to have to holler at about this. So we can bleep his name out for the show. I don't um, want to put him on blast like that. We'll damn ble- it. We'll bleep more, his name out for the show. I'm not going to, you know. More work for me. Um, I was, <laughs> I was thinking. We'll be doing all kind of elaborate stuff on the show <laughs> that I didn't know was going to happen. I tell him. I tell him to bleep out the name. <laughs> I never complain. I, I can't complain one time. One time. Thank you. I'm gonna have to y- holler at Young Bleep because because uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure he meant hair, but um, nah. But but uh, body. You're supposed to wash your body at least once a day. At least. You take uh, poops. Yeah. Yeah. You telling me, unless you, okay, unless you got the wet wipes next to the, to, to the toilet with the toilet paper and the wet wipes, you ain't fully clean unless you take a shower. Because if you got the wet wipes, you could, you could fully clean your butthole. <laughs> right? Yeah. Because you can't fully clean it with some toilet paper. No. Cause if you get like if somebody if somebody throw some uh if somebody flick some shit on your hand <laughs> right somebody some flick some shit, take, yeah, take, yeah, a, yeah. take a take some shit off the ground with a stick and flick it on your hand yeah 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 are you gonna get some toilet paper and go like this and, until it's gone or you go get it wet wash you know what I mean you know what. Okay, this is going to be informative now. Informative just being earnest. What? This whole thing is informative. <laughs> okay. So Personal I, hygiene. So, uh, Indian, uh, there's people who don't understand bidets. Ask, like, uh, people of the Indian culture. I, like, can't, I can't believe we don't have them here. 
I think you're going to agree with what I'm about to say. It's like, uh, there's a person that asked an Indian person, like, why don't you have bidets? And this was like a hygienic uh, YouTube video that I watched. And and this person goes like, okay, if 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 you want to un- understand why we use water instead of toilet paper, <laughs> watch this. And he takes his hand out and he gets some peanut butter. Puts peanut butter on one arm, puts peanut butter on the other. And asks the person, okay, hand me some toilet paper. And gets the toilet paper. Guess what? Not all the peanut butter comes off. But when he puts his arm under a sink, guess what? (laughs) Come on, man. You know what I mean? It's it's simple, man. (laughs) Bidets, booty wetters, whatever you want to call it. (laughs) Booty wetters. I, I'm totally down for America to adopt uh, the booty wetter, aka the bidet. Is there a way that we could uh, go in on some patent pending booty wetters, like bidets, but just call them booty wetters? I think that would sell. Man, I don't have I don't have the money or the resources <laughs> <laughs> to call them booty wetters and come up with bidets for people's houses. Man, I don't even know how to do it. Like put it in their plumbing system. You know what I mean? You just have it like a little baby seat. <laughs> have it like a little baby seat that you sit on and it wet your butt. Maybe we can make a USB powered one. So that- <laughs> I don't know, man. You have to get the Thunderbolt. That shit has to be hitting. Yeah, well, it's got to be powerful, boy. It's got yeah, it's to be hitting. You got to get, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you you, you got to get UA. You got to get UA to make that one. Oh man. Uh, my my chest let's hurts. Team, let's all team up. Laughter, let's man. team up with Monster or something like that to make some bidets, some <laughs> some electronic bidets. Let's call them the booty wetters, <laughs> and we'll make a killer. I feel like we're onto something. Yeah, come on, man. <laughs> let's holler at Thomas Pridgen. <laughs> Thomas yeah, Pridgen, dude, he would be. Yeah, man, he could probably take this idea to the next level. <laughs> Yo, I'm not booze. <laughs> Come no pun, on, man. No pun intended. <laughs> oh, everybody knows deep down in their heart they would ra- rather have a bidet than um, some watered up piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna take man. a break. <laughs> you know, it's very important what you put into your body. You know what I mean? Absolutely. That's what pe- I want people to um, not miss throughout all of these uh, vaccine debates. Uh-huh. Is it's very, still very important whether you get vaccinated or whether you get vaccinated or you're not vaccinated. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's very, it's it's a serious illness. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, y- y- yes, you're going to survive from it, but uh, make sure you're taking care of yourself, right? You're eating. They, that's what. That's what the. You know, they're not telling you, right? That's not what. The, that's not. That's. That's not what the CDC and um, these CNN and all these commercials are telling you. Right. They're not. Right, right. They're telling you about the vaccine, which yeah, if you want to get vaccinated, get vaccinated. That's dope. If you don't want to get vaccinated, whatever, right? But yeah, yeah, in the yeah. meantime, in between time, take care of your body. Make sure you're um, exercising and you're healthy and you're, you're taking your vitamins and your black seed oils and your echinaceas and your teas. Um, yeah, fruits and vegetables, like all, all take that. Take care yeah. of yourself. All yeah. of that stuff works. Um, whatever you want to say about Joe Rogan, all of that stuff he was saying that he took when he uh, was sick, mm-hmm. that stuff works. Mm-hmm. Okay, that stuff is just regular healthy medicine. Yeah, um, that you take to get better. Yeah, that was a big uh, misunderstanding for, on the media's standpoint. No, that wasn't or, a misunderstanding. That was that was lying. Oh, so it was intentional. That was just flat out lying. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. They got, they I got, thought it was a misunderstanding. No, 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 no. But, no, no. Okay. They got caught lying. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. You know what okay. I mean? You okay. know they they. They didn't do their research. And right. They just ran out there with something. Right. And, and lied on the man. It made him look like some lunatic when he's not. No, no. You know. This show this is very health themed, this entire show today. Health. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah health yeah. is important. 
Pay attention to what you're putting in your body. Get enough sleep. Wash. Wash. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wash. You know? Yeah. It's pretty simple. Yeah. Like I said, I wash my hands, you know what I mean? Count, 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 you know, you count or what, or what, you know what I'm saying? Or sing happy birthday twice. That's a, that's a pretty long wash. I'd probably go with like five Mississippis. I don't know. <laughs> hey man, it, it, I'm not going to knock you for being extra cleanly. I'm hey not going to knock you for that. I'm just saying. How long, can you look this up on air? How long are you supposed to wash your hands? Okay. Because okay. I, know, I know brush your teeth is two minutes, you know. But wash your hands. Says 20 seconds. That's happy birthday twice. Is it? Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Oh, I guess you're right. Yeah. I thought that song was longer. In my mind, that song seems like... It's because of how Americans sing it. <sighs> That's right. Or how, it's how traditional Americans sing it, right? Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, in my mind, it's an eternity. It's supposed <laughs> to be a happy song. It kind of sounds like a funeral song when... Yeah, it does. It sounds like organs should be playing in the Happy background. Happy birthday to <laughs> you. You know what I mean? It's never like, Happy birthday to you. You know, the Stevie Wonder Stevie one. Wonder version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's never, you know. Um, that's how we do it in my house. Yeah, yeah. There's also the Beatles version. Today's your birthday. <laughs> Oh, yeah, the mayonnaise is strong with that one. Hey, you know, it's hey, uh, teacher's own. Yeah, um, but, uh, like, everybody, you know, God, ever, nobody ever, like, whoever picks the key that they want to sing happy birthday in, it's just like, every, I could see everybody like, oh, all right. And they have to, like, either go up or go down, but they're never in a key. Like, not everybody sings, you know? It just seems kind of like a task. Yeah. Doesn't it seem like a task? Yeah, and the person getting sang to never wants it. No. No, no. You know what I mean? They do the... Everybody that has the, the song Happy Birthday sung to them, they have this face right here. <laughs> you know, I enjoy all of my birthdays. I never lie about my age. I want credit for every minute. This old lady said that to me once. Hmm. She, she was... her. She, she was turning 62... And um, she was a spunky old lady, old white lady. And uh, I was like, oh, you're turning 27 again. And she was like, oh, no, I want credit for every minute. I'm turning 62. And I, wow. I, I, that, that stuck with me. That stuck with me, you know? Like, yeah, I want, me too. I want credit for every minute, you know? So in the meantime, in between time, pay attention to what you put in your body. Yeah. That's very different for me. I actually try and downgrade my my birthday as much as possible. I think I always try and treat my birthday like a regular day. You do. You do. Yeah. And somebody asked me about that once. And they're like, "Why don't you ever tell us? Like we just go out and, you know, we could do this thing I'm, and I'm I'm like that too. Um, but I do uh I do I do get excited around that time just cuz yeah. just cuz I know I I've done it again. Yeah, I haven't really been that way in a while, I would say. I think maybe in the past couple of years, I really haven't been that way with my birthday. Um, but before, it was always this this mental thing of like, uh, every time it comes around to my birthday, I think about all the wasted time in that year. And it's kind yeah. of like this, this thing where it's like, uh, I could have done more. For sure, for sure, but there's always time, right? That that's what the birthday, you know. It's it's you you made it, you know. It's a it's it's a lot of people, man. It's a lot of people I know that didn't make it to thirty one, okay, or forty. Sure, you know, it, yeah. it didn't make it to eighteen. You know what I mean? Didn't make it to nineteen. You know what I mean? It's like that's true. That's true. And, actually, and, yeah, yeah. And, and the older, like, once I turn thirty, I start really appreciating it. Like, man, okay, the older I get. You know, I lose people mm -hmm. and you really have to be grateful that you are granted another year, another that's, one, another birthday. That's true. And that's kind of where I'm heading to right now, mentally. Yeah. 
I don't know. It's like a, a, a mental block where it's just like, ah, I shouldn't be celebrated. I shouldn't be, you know. Well, that's how Jehovah's Witnesses do it. I, oh, really? Yeah, yeah. They don't, uh, they don't, yeah, they don't celebrate themselves. Mm. Right? Which is, you know, I understand that. You know? Okay. But. Yeah, I can understand that too, actually. Yeah. I kind of, but I, I like to uh, bask in the ambience myself. <laughs> you know, yeah. Every yeah. once in a while, you know, I like the credit. You know, I like to yeah. get the credit, you know. But who doesn't? Yeah. You know, people like, you know, you can, you know, at the end of the day, we all want the credit. We yeah. all We all want the, uh, man, it's cold in here. We all want like, uh, <laughs> you know, we work hard to be who we are. Yeah, and now like w- w- the way I am now, I'm much more free than I was, you know, years ago. I like I, I uh, takes his jacket and puts it right back on. It's, it's hilarious. Cold. It's cold, man. The, did you? Uh, are you wearing a John Michael Basquez shirt? Yeah, That's yeah, but, tight, it's, man. but it's cold though. That's tight. I'm wearing a Luna Lee shirt. Uh, yeah, great indie artist, you know. Uh, uh, she I saw her on tour with a band called Japanese Breakfast. Oh, Japanese breakfast. I know about them. Yeah, Japanese breakfast is tight. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, it's just kind of like on on one set of sign uh, one set of things now where it's just like I work as hard as I can. I let things be what they be. And on the other side it's like, man, isn't life beautiful? Let's go party. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> Great ending to the show. We love y'all. Take care. Make sure you pay attention to what you're putting in your body. Get some rest. Relax. Yes. You're blessed. We out.